The Embassy of Venezuela on Friday in Abuja organized a press conference to update the world on the recent political crisis in their country. Correspondent Uchechi Lemoa completes the report. Venezuela most recently plunged into political crisis following President Nicolas Maduro's emergence as the country's leader. Maduro started his second term on January 10th after a boycotted election which many foreign governments did not recognize. On January 23rd, Juan Guado, the leader of the opposition party, declared himself interim president after Guado took an oath swearing himself in the U.S. President Donald Trump publicly recognized him as the country's leader. Maduro accused Guado of staging a coup and ordered his arrest. During the press conference, Ambassador David Ruas emphasized how disheartening the unfair treatment has been from the United States. He further spoke about the electrical attack in Venezuela. Donald Trump said we don't have oil. No, we have oil. But now we sell the oil to the other countries, like India and other countries. We continue with uh, normal activities, and we hope can uh, defeat against not only the coup d'etat of the president, the minister of foreign affairs, Jorge Reasa said in the, during the Security Council meeting. We continue working to defeat all the threats of the United States against Venezuelan people, against our democracy. The President Maduro said was the lead in the past, the, the 7th of March, Elliot Abraham lead the process to attack the electrical system, what the President Maduro said. And now, uh, not only the, the, electrical, the electric system was affected, when you attack this uh, part that is very important part of the service system in Venezuela, you attack all the connect uh, service, metro, uh, water, health, in the hospital, in the health service. It's a war actions against Venezuelan people. Ambassador David also noted the impact of economic blockade on Venezuela. I present you the report, official report, about the impact of the economic blockade and unilateral and coercive measures against Venezuela. More than $30 billion freeze and blockade, more than $200 billion in different uh, impacts against the economy, and you have, in your resume, you have all the areas, all the information, direct, and other actions, other impacts against the economy. Banco de Venezuela is a national bank. Banco Bicentenario is a national bank. Uh, Bandes is an international agency, the national bank, but with presence in Uruguay and Nicaragua and other countries. Three Venezuelan banks were sanctioned the last week for the United States. They continue the financial persecution. They continue with the financial uh, attack against the Venezuelan resource. It's very important. Uh, in this moment, for Venezuela built a new mechanism to the financial, financial uh, relation with the other countries, to continue solving the economic situation, to continue solving the necessities of our people, and continue receiving the help for the other countries, for the United Nations system, to solve the uh, problems in the capacity to buy food and medicine, especially. We have the money to buy, but we can buy for these sanctions. We have the capacity to import, but we, we can pay for these uh, uh, imports, for these sanctions. The ambassador called on other countries and the United Nations to help tackle the economic problems of the people of Venezuela. I am Uchichi Lemoa, reporting for TV News.